At Deep Trekker, we have a range of four different underwater ROVs. We have the DTG3, the Photon, the Pivot, and the Revolution. The DTG3 is actually our most compact and portable unit. It's designed to get into hard to reach spots, and so typically used in maritime for sea chest and tank inspection. This unit wasn't necessarily designed to support lots of additional tooling and sensors. So beyond visual inspection, we'd look at one of our larger ROVs, like the Revolution. This is the Revolution ROV. It's actually our largest platform. You'll notice it's flat hydrodynamic design. So this makes it best suited for open water applications, where the ROV might have to deal with a bit of current. Where it's useful to have the ROV flat and stable in current, we have a rotating camera head. This is where all the tooling integrates, meaning that the ROV is useful for adding additional sensors and tools to. The Photon is another super lightweight and portable ROV. However, it has the same six thruster configuration as the larger Pivot and Revolution. This means it's highly maneuverable. However, it's still designed for the lower current confined spaces. The Pivot is a balance of size and power. It's a step up from the Photon ROV in terms of the tooling it can support and additional sensors. However, different to the Revolution ROV, you'll note that the camera and tooling platform are separated. Typically, I find this is a pilot preference. As larger platforms, the Pivot and Revolution have additional capabilities in terms of autonomous mission planning, as well as ROV underwater positioning. When considering which ROV might be the best tool for the job, I would start with how deep do I need to go? If it's beyond 120 meters, you'll need to look at the pivot or the revolution. Beyond that, how much current is there in the environment? Again, a higher current will need a larger, more stable platform. Typically, if there's any current, the revolution's flat profile is best suited. Does the 4K camera give me enough of a field of view to see my target or navigate to it? Often in highly turbid or murky water, you might ask, can I benefit from multi-beam imaging sonar? This sonar will not only help build a picture of directly in front of the ROV at a low range, but also see a field much further beyond the field of view of the camera and help you navigate towards the target. With the range of Oculus sonars, we have a few different options depending on what is required from the inspection. If you need a long range, low frequency sonar, the C550 is a great option. If you need low range, high frequency, for example, a inspection in black water, then the M3000 is most commonly chosen. Standard ultra high definition 4K camera on all of the ROVs will enable you to capture high definition video and stills of the inspection. You could also use this camera to capture data using our auto snapshot feature to put into a software to build a 3D model in post. We also do have some additional camera options, such as the Voya stereo camera that can be used to also to build 3D models. Ultrasonic thickness UT gauges and cathodic potential CP probes are common integrations for the Revolution and Pivot ROV. These can be used to measure corrosion and steel thickness to assess the integrity of a structure. It's all well and good gathering lots of data when underwater, but unless you're able to tie that to a position, it's very hard to analyze this data. GPS doesn't work underwater, so there are a few different systems depending on your environment that you can use for underwater positioning. Typically, a USBL, an ultra short baseline positioning system, is an acoustic system that allows you to determine where the ROV is relative to a topside position. However, in some maritime applications where you have large metal structures or noise from live boating, we find that the USBL ping can be interrupted. An alternative is dead reckoning. This is using an upgraded IMU in the sensor of the ROV and using sensor fusion with a combination of data, including magnometer, accelerometer, and gyroscope. Whilst inputting the ROV's start position, the ROV is able to determine where it has moved over time. We have a range of vehicles in different sizes and configurations, which are adaptable to specific applications within the maritime world, all with the end goal of gathering more higher quality data.